And while other counties in western New York have allowed high school wrestling to resume after more than a year off the mat, Erie County is recommending the sport remain on hold. Tonya Side has learned that a lawsuit is expected to be filed next week to change that. Here's Channel 2's Jeff Preval. Tyree Orange, a senior at Amherst High, hasn't been able to get on the mat in more than a year. Everyone wants to be the best or learn new different ways and train hard, and I just love the atmosphere of that. And that's really what I'm missing the most. In March, the state health department issued guidance on sports and recreation, saying teams in higher risk sports such as wrestling may practice and compete only as permitted by local health departments. Other counties in western New York, which include ones with high COVID transmission rates, such as Erie County, have allowed wrestling, but Erie County has recommended the sport be put on hold. And now we're looking at instead of delay in Erie County, these kids not wrestling at all. And uh, there just isn't the data to support that wrestling is any different in terms of risk. The yeah, arbitrary and capricious are the words that are used in the Article 78 proceedings, and that's where most of the courts have been uh, basing their rulings on. And, you know, absolutely, there's no justification for singling out wrestling. Yesterday, Erie County's health commissioner gave this explanation. This is since wrestling is a very high risk sport. People are very close together, um, not really masked. Uh, and and um, there's, you know, even though they might wipe down um, everything really well that prevents skin to skin transmission, it doesn't prevent COVID. Which is false. Section four wrestled their whole season with masks on. The health department's recommendation could change if cases continue to drop and vaccinations increase. We can't wait to get under 100 cases per 100,000 population uh, per over a seven day period um, because then we'll be in a lower risk transmission category and then we will definitely reassess. But with the end of the school year fast approaching, there's an urgency to have some sort of abbreviated season. Now, Dr. Burstein says that COVID clusters in youth sports are mostly being seen in football, volleyball, and cheerleading. That lawsuit expected to be filed against Erie County and the state next week is also expected to include a portion to try to lift restrictions on hair salons and restaurants. In Buffalo, I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.